wasn't planning on making a tutorial like this, but somebody had asked for some help, and so I thought I'd go ahead and provide it, seeing that I got some time and was unable to make it into the garage tonight like I was planning. So um, on the screen you see a Hello Kitty, and it is out on Plasma Spider, and it's one of those files that somebody else provided, and who knows what CAD software they used, but it usually has some problems. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded this file and I'll just go ahead and launch it and it'll open up with my Torchmate software. The first um, window you see here is the import options. I did change some of the defaults. Um, currently I'm using layer color only and as far as I can tell I've just been playing around just to see if it, what I could get it to do but the difference between this option and the op option on the right is that the option on the right tries to preserve the layers and colors um, and the one on the left tries to combine them onto my current color, uh, which is black, as you can see up here. That's as far as I can tell. I haven't found any. I haven't read up on any information on it or anything. Um, down in the notes section here, it talks about the notes for this bottom section for the gap tolerances. So my gap tolerances are not the default. Um, I changed it to 0 .001 and 0 .01 based on the information in the notes, and. If, I'm going to go ahead and say do not show this again, but if you open and import your file and you do not have that option and you want to see it, you can come to the Torchmate setup under General Preferences and hit this reset for the warning dialogs and you'll you'll get that to show up again. So as you can see, um, this was all imported onto one layer. It, I'm going to change it to black by highlighting everything in right and left click on the color that I like down here. And if I were to highlight everything, you can look at the top left corner and there's 611 objects or polygons. And we want to combine these, so arrange, connect path, and you can see that the allowable error on mine is uh, like a hundred of a thousandth of an inch or something like that. So we'll say OK to that, and now you can see we're down to one object. So if I highlight this again and well let's just do an alt s alt s is actually under view show fill and if I do the show fill you can see that it looks pretty good um, there's a little bit of a mess up here in the ribbon um, and just so you're aware depending on your different import options you're going to get different results um, I changed some stuff around and this is the best results these are the best results that I've had and so I'm not going to back it off and, and uh, try to show you what problems you may be having because the problems are all going to be similar to the one that I'm having right here. So what I'm going to do is highlight this and break it with a control B or a machine or you can go up to arrange break path. And this is the problematic piece currently. So if I were to double click on this <clears throat> excuse me and just highlight a node, I'm going to hit tab and if I hit tab you'll notice that it'll go to the next node next node, next node. Well you can keep doing this and typically when you have a problematic piece it'll stop like this because there's actually a break here so it doesn't jump to the next node because of that line break. So what I'm going to do is highlight these two nodes, right click and combine them and apply that. Um, one thing you have to be careful of on some of these uh, files when you import them, when there's a line break there's actually another line behind it and it's just not connected to anything. You want to delete that so now if I do control A to select everything and control H which is actually arrange make path right there and do an alt S to toggle my show fill you can see that this actually looks pretty good if I pull up this um, let me shrink this window down so if I were to pull this up you can see that this actually has on let me there's a picture down here there's some online tool paths to keep the face in place but to kind of give it some definition. The online tool paths continue around the bow and into the ear and then everything else just has some dropouts. So this is currently a functioning file at this point. What we need to do is apply some tool paths. So Alt S to toggle my show fill. I'm going to select a everything with the control A and break it with a control B. Again that's a range break path. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select my online tool paths, shift click these, and I'm just going to group them, control G, and then everything else I'm going to select, deselect the online tool paths, and I'm going to go ahead and let's just do an arrange make path. You can do the welding if you wanted to, it's going to do the same thing. 
Um, so now I have two objects basically. If I highlighted everything you can see up in the top left I have two objects. So the first object um, let's go ahead and apply a mail toolpath to this. So arrange create toolpath uh, where is it? Sorry machine create toolpath mail um, I'm going to make sure plasma is my process that's selected. I, I am going to do a lead in and just say OK to this. And don't worry about the warning dialog I got there. So that created our mail toolpath. Now we're going to highlight our online toolpath to machine create toolpath online. And this one to make sure pla plasma is selected. And I don't have any lead ins or anything. So we created that. So now let's just uh, come up to edit, actually select everything, edit, or no, sorry, layout, sequence, sequence by list. Um, I'm going to say toolpaths only. And then just make sure that your online toolpaths are all the first ones done, and then your mail toolpath at the end. So we'll say OK to that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just say show toolpaths only. And the only thing I would want to correct from here is probably some of the lead-ins. Um, you can see, especially down in this area down here, that the lead-ins are pretty close to your edges. So I would come in and just move these. One thing I have learned about lead-ins is if you edit one and hit apply and then go to the next object and double click on it and move it and hit apply and do that a few times, a lot of the lead-ins will get reset back to where they were in the first place. So when you go to edit lead-ins, do, do them all at once before hitting apply. And you can scroll in and out with your will on your mouse, which is what I'm doing. And I'm just basically moving these to more convenient locations that aren't right close to the edges and will give you better results. So let's just do that. You notice you won't have lead-ins on some of these objects that are too small for a lead-in, which is okay. And... Let me just zoom in and take a look at a few others. Zoom out, I mean. Move that one a little. I think we're looking pretty good. Let me go up here and check some of these. Center that. And we'll come up here. And we'll just move a few of these around. It takes some practice. I'm making this look easy, and actually, to me, it is easy. But um, I've learned all this stuff by practicing it over and over. So um, you you can you'll get used to it, and you'll kind of get an idea of what needs to be done based on um, some of the symptoms that you're seeing. Okay, so now that I adjusted the tool pass the way I like them, I'll hit apply. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this file. File, save as. We'll call it hello, hello, kitty, tm. So I'll save that. And let's just go ahead and do an export while we're at it. Hello, kitty, tm. export that and for kicks now let's just go ahead and open up our torchmate driver software import that file my hard drives spinning up I'll change that to 150 inches a minute say okay and I'm just going to hit start and watch it just for a second just to make sure I'm not getting a double cut or anything but oh no tool selected let me select plasma and start so it'll do the online tool pass which I expect and then it should move straight to the mail tool pass and we're not going to watch the whole thing I just want to get an idea if it's working correctly and yep now we're doing all the inside cuts okay so I call that good at this point and if you have any questions let me know there is a more complicated file that I am actually working with that will give us a little bit more detail on getting files cut ready 
the problem is is I haven't figured it out myself um, completely yet I'm trying to give you some shortcuts uh, I haven't been able to figure out how to do these shortcuts yet and um, as soon as I do um, I'll post them up there for your sake and my sake um, my sake just in case I forget them and your sake so that you can uh, manipulate these files and get them to work easier for you anyway thanks for watching <laughs>